I realized that even though you're sad or you're mad or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you're feeling, you can be having fun. No matter how you're oh, feeling, as long as you know that you are worth it mm -hmm. and you are beautiful and that you can be a blessing to others, yeah. you're going to be just fine. Everybody and welcome to season three of the Advocally podcast, where we get to know our favorite singer-songwriters, musicians, and creatives. My name is Abby Asistio, and today, oh my goodness, I actually just came from watching her performance. Natalaga namang experience, mapanood siyang kumanta at ipakita sa mga tao kung ano at sino ba talaga si Miss Ramon. Kasama po natin mga kaibigan, she is an international singer-songwriter based in the USA and the Philippines. Locally loved through her independently produced music and brand collaborations such as Under Armour USA, SM Air Asia, McDonald's, and others. First sighted on The Voice of the Philippines Season 2 in Team Bamboo, Miss Ramon! It is I! Oh my gosh, <laughs> grabe! Grabe yung performance! Thank you! I'm Parang really may hangover, like tsaka LSS ako, hanggang yes. pag-uwi ko. What's your favorite Ooh. line? Ooh. Ah, ako'y Not napapa... Cool. Mm, Nako, <laughs> talaga naman! So, what I noticed, let's get straight into it. Uh -huh. Ramon, whenever you perform, you... I would say, literally, put your heart and everything on stage. Like... I would feel your energy, your soul, from the piercing eyes to the growl in the singing, even to the parts na sobrang sultry lang and steady. Ramdam na ramdam ko. Has that always been a part of you in confidence to express yourself that way? You know, I never really understood it when everybody would say that. Mm -hmm. Like, they would say, grabe yung presence mo on stage, or we can really feel your energy emanating from it. I never really understood. I would always ask, like, paano? Anong nangyari? Like, uh -huh. Paano mo nasabi yon Parang ganyan. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. What I do kasi when I'm on stage is I embody what my dad once told me when I told him that I want to perform. Sabi yeah. niya, when you perform, the performance or the act that you're going to do is not when you get on stage. The mm. performance is when you get to the venue. Okay. You are the performance. Mm -hmm. Your name is the name of the show. Mm. So, mm -hmm. when you get there, everybody's already expecting a certain you, yeah. you know. And when, when they see you, they have to see it there. Mm -hmm. So, when you say hi to them, you have to think about your set. Yeah. You have to think about the mood that you're going to give them. And that has to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. And so, when I was sad, I would be, hi. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I would be mellow. But now, kasi, I just really want to party. Mm -hmm. And I realize that even though you're sad or you're mad or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you're feeling, you can be having fun. Mm -hmm. So, that is the mantra of my life right now. Just have fun. Just, just party. Every day is a party. You mentioned it a couple of times during your set. You were a sad girl. Yeah. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, kasi I didn't know the backstory. Mm -hmm. What made you say that? And what made you define yourself as a sad girl? Because I've only been in love once. Mm. I would say that in my entire life, for sure I've had some dates. Yeah. I've, I've been, you know, exclusively seeing somebody for a while. But now that I'm this age, I can really say that I have only loved once. Okay. And that happened for four years. Mm -hmm. And when it ended, it ended in a way that I just didn't expect it to happen. It ended yeah. because somebody believed something that a lot of people were claiming or saying. And it just didn't, you know, it just didn't fall to the place where I wanted it to be. Adding to that the experiences that we had together, mm -hmm. it just didn't make sense anymore. And what I realized that I was going through before was the denial of that. Yeah. The denial that it wasn't meant to be anymore, that it mm -hmm. wasn't working anymore, that the kind of love we had for each other wasn't what we deserved. Mm -hmm. So during that breakup season, I didn't have anybody to turn to because he was my best friend. Like, he was the person that I... Would always talk to, would be um, with for every day, mm -hmm. every day, if not every day, at least every week. Yeah. So, with that person being gone from my life, I felt like I was so alone and I only had my piano. And I freshly moved to a new place because I didn't want any memories to mm -hmm. be lingering about. And all I had was me and the piano and 
the dream that I was talking to a lot of people saying that it's okay to be sad. Mm -hmm. You're not the only person sad. And if you need a theme song in your life right now, it's this. <laughs> I have an album that has eight tracks in it and it flows from the denial stage, the anger, the bargaining, the grief, mm -hmm. the, the whole stages of grief mm -hmm. is what I call it. Yeah, it's called the Wasak series. It starts with just talagang masakit lang talaga. And then it comes out sa last with the realization that no matter how you're feeling, as long as you know that you are worth it mm -hmm. and you are beautiful and that you can be a blessing to others, yeah. you're going to be just fine. Yes. You are going to be just fine and you're going to be able to own the power yes. because it led to you writing the song from being a sad girl. Yes. So bakit mo napili na it would be that shift, that bigger shift and it would be that party vibe yung kanta? Because I wasn't allowed to party. Ikaw sa Ramon mo na yan, ikaw allowed, di ba? Hindi ka allowed know, to party. Mm -hmm. Well, syempre hindi niya ako mapipigilan, right? Uh -huh. When I'm in the situation na I would react in a way because I really like music and yeah. I don't even get drunk. I only started drinking 2018 after mm -hmm. the breakup. So, what would happen when we leave the party place or like the celebration area is that he would say na, oh, ginagawa mo yun para magpapansin ka, no? Like, it was, ah, it was really a, okay. don't do it, yeah, you know? Yeah, don't yeah. be you. And now all I, all I wanted to do was dance. Mm -hmm. All I wanted to do was have fun and be in an actual party mode. Because you can be a party girl. You can be having fun. Mm -hmm. You can be drinking. You can be spending time with all of your friends of all sexes. Yeah. Girl, boy, bakla, and tomboy. And mm. still be acceptable within your realm. Yeah. You know, because you define what is acceptable to you. Mm -hmm. And I think what I do and who I want to be and who I've become is mm. acceptable to me. And partying is synonymous also to being free and yeah. allowing yourself to just explore and express who you are, diba? Right? Yeah. The thing about partying is that people say, kasi, or people just think about it being in clubs or mm. bars or anything like that. For me, life is a party. Yeah. When you go out and then you enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. whether it may be drinking something that you absolutely love and you're listening to a music that you just resonate with or you're mm -hmm. reading a book and you're imagining all of these scenarios that were written by the author, yeah. I think that's the party. Mm -hmm. As long as you're having fun and you're emanating that energy, that, oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is where I want to be in this moment, I think that's the party. Mm -hmm. So when I say I'm a party girl, I really just mean it as... I am a woman, I am a person who lives in the moment mm -hmm. and wants to maximize whatever is going on in that moment. I love that. Lover of life, full of zest. Yeah. And uh, speaking of zest, you yes. have a new song, which I is a different know. kind of zest <laughs> and a feistiness. It's rare. It's rare. It is called <laughs> Naku. Yes, mapapa naku talaga yung dad ko. I've written this in 2020, right? when the pandemic was announced mm -hmm. and I was alone again yeah. in my house. I couldn't go out, I couldn't party, I couldn't go to clubs and be with my friends. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make a track that would make me feel like, you know, yeah, it's a jam. Uh -huh. Let's go. It so is. I did that. It I is a lot of song. fun to dance to and to listen to. I know. It is and, very sultry yes. and very sexy and sensual. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing that I'd admire about you is you're not afraid to show that side. Actually, hanggang ngayon, natatakot pa rin ako kasi mm -hmm. madaling mag-judge, especially in a country where everybody's just so, let me say it, so pretentious. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's so pretentious because deep inside, you wanna lash it out. You wanna, <laughs> hey, no, uh -huh. you honestly like I keep hearing that because I want to be like you Miss Ramon yeah. I want to feel so confident mm. that I'm not scared of what people will say a lot I've heard that a lot and that tells me because maybe this is just what people need mm -hmm. if not to announce it to the world at least to keep it in their ear yeah. you know because you don't have to share my music mm -hmm. you can choose to share it for sure I'll be super grateful because being independent that's really of course. Helpful, right? Mm -hmm. But I made this cassette to make me happy. And if yeah. it makes anybody else happy, if it makes them feel how I felt when I made it, which is, okay, <laughs> I'm a Beyonce, Madonna, and Dua Lipa fan. I'm damn fine. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I am pretty, and you will <laughs> like me. What? Yeah, yeah. And by doing that, you're allowing other people to feel yeah. the same thing. You're also very vocal about being body positive. Yes. Was, have you always been that 
expressive about loving your body, your curves, your sensuality even? Honestly, I'm not confident about it. I am mm. not secure about myself. If if any, I am the most insecure. I judge myself the hardest. Mm -hmm. When I look in the mirror, I see what's wrong. Mm -hmm. But then if I linger on what's wrong, then I won't be happy. Mm. And I really just want to be happy. Yeah. So when I see what's wrong, I, I see what I can do. What I can do is I can accept it and I can do something about it. But mm -hmm. while, while the results I want aren't there, at least look at this as my reality now. Eh, mm -hmm. talaga eh. yeah, yeah. Because that's the Asian way of looking at bodies. Curvy women are not very supportive. We're excluded. Yeah. In some people's eyes. Huh? Ang hirap talaga. Mm -hmm. Sa totoo lang, you have to order pa from the West. Yeah. Sasabihin nila, oh, guys like that. Mm. But then, we don't need guys to approve of it. Yeah. We're not asking them to say or validate us about mm -hmm. it. We're just asking the society to just include us in the picture. Yeah. Why am I just seeing petite women? Why am I just seeing slender women? Where are the women who actually have boobs, mm -hmm. you know? Where are the women who actually has asses that jiggle when they walk? Mm -hmm. Because we exist, so why not appreciate that? Yeah. And when you appreciate it, why not let other people appreciate mm -hmm. it? And even if they don't appreciate it, the best thing about that is that you do. Mm. So at the end of the day, when nobody likes you, as long as you like yourself, you can sleep amazingly. Amen. Amen, sister. People should realize there's power in vulnerability. Yeah. Like, it's not just about saying, I'm all good, I've got everything together. Ang galing galing ko, ang ganda ganda ko. No, there are days when we feel insecure. Yeah. There are days, hindi ko alam, sabi mo sa kanta yeah. mo. There are days you're confused, there are days you don't feel beautiful. But, it's being able to rise above that yeah. and own it, acknowledge that it's part of your story, and that's what makes you powerful. Truly. So, Ramon, thank you so much for sharing your story, your music. Thank Just you one me. word. Mm -hmm. If people hear your name, you as an artist, what's that one word that you want them to relate to you? Strong. Strong. And this really is a very strong podcast episode, getting to chat with an empowered woman. Thank you so much for being Thank in the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to Super be here. Super love the performance. Anything you want to promote and invite our viewers to your social media accounts? That's M-I-S-S-R-A-M-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. You can find it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, everything else. And if you want to join my website for updates or exclusive edits of things you shouldn't really see, it's called www.missramon.com. <laughs> it's still the same spelling. Do not miss that second N. Thank you so much for being here for me and with me. Yay, thank you, Ramon. Before I let you go, we have some gifts from our fans <gasps> over at Florma. You get makeup, nail Love polish. It. And headphones from H Audio. Thank you so much. For my music needs. For your music needs. And this special tap to connect card. You don't need business cards anymore. No more printing. You just need one card for everything. Your contacts, links to your social media platform. That goes out Fabulous. to you. Thank you for being on the show. It was such a pleasure. And thank you also to Happy Studios, Cafe Lupe, Casa Alegria, Hive Audio International, The Spark Series, D-O-O-H, Lorimar, Tap to Connect, and H Audio for partnering with us this season. See you all again next time.